baking with Bethany. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do it while you're watching this video. Now, let's get started. We are making White Christmas. And yes, by the title, as you can tell, it is a Christmas dish. First of all, we got to sanitize like always. Got to keep our hands nice and clean before we touch the food so no one gets sick. So our ingredients are white chocolate, cranberries, pistachios and rice bubbles. And our tools that we will be using is a large mixing bowl, a spatula or big wooden spoon, and a metal spoon for mixing the white chocolate because we'll be melting it. And we also need a baking dish and also baking paper to go in the baking dish. Now we're going to melt the white chocolate in the microwave, not on a high setting in, oh, I already said in the microwave, but that doesn't matter. Make sure not to put the metal spoon in the microwave with it. So we've put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Now what you're gonna do is stir it with the metal spoon and do that until it is nice and smooth and melted. And one is definitely not enough, so you're gonna put it in for a few more rounds. It's now all melted. And next what we're gonna do is pour it into the large mixing bowl. So we're gonna pour the white chocolate into the mixing bowl. And with the nuts, you can really use any sort of nuts you want. Nuts you want. Today I'm using pistachios because they're a Christmas colour. But you can use like almonds or cashews or whatever you want. And also, if you're allergic to nuts, you can just take the nuts out and put another dried fruit or something in there. And now we're gonna add the other ingredients. It doesn't really matter what order, so we're just gonna add the ingredients, like I said. And then once you've added your first ingredient, you're gonna mix it through, just to make it a bit even. And then, you're going to add your next ingredient. Mixy, mixy. Mixy, spoon. Now, the last ingredient. And you really need to mix it through really well so the ingredients are even. Because white Christmas is like a slice. That should be all mixed together. Now, next what we're going to do is pour it into the baking dish. And remember it has the baking paper on it, so don't forget that. That is very important. So, remember, 
if there's nothing in your baking paper, then it won't really stay in there by itself. And a tip for baking paper, scrunch it up and then unscrunch it and that will make it stay in the baking dish that you're putting it in. Next, you're going to even it out so it's all nice and smooth and like push it down into the baking dish. Next, what you're going to do is put the spatula or big wooden spoon aside and put this white Christmas into the fridge for at least two hours to bake. I mean set. Now it's taste test time. My favourite part. Get an adult to help you cut your white Christmas up. Now, let's try it. That's really good. Thanks for watching Baking with Bethany. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already while you're watching this video. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye.